Welcome to Settle 3D version 4, tutorial 14. In this tutorial, we will be introducing the key features of Settle 3D's CPT interpretation analysis module. To begin, if you have not already done so, run Settle 3D. We will begin by modifying the project settings. Click on the project settings icon. In the general tab, set stress units to metric, stress as KPA, and settlement units to meters. Select the cone penetration test tab Check the CPT analysis checkbox to turn on CPT analysis. We will use the default values for all parameters. Now, click OK to close the dialog. We will now enter the CPT data. We will be using data from the CPT input file, which can be found in the Rock Science folder with the Settle3D tutorial documents. Select the Add CPT point icon from the toolbar. Click on Import Data, then select the CPT input text file. Set the decimal delimiter to period and the data delimiter to space. Click OK to import the data. Leave all other parameters at their default values and click OK. Click anywhere in the plan view to place the CPT. In order to view results of the CPT point, right click on the point and select Graph CPT. In the table, you are shown a list of default results. The tabulated results can be edited by selecting the Edit Columns icon. Add any number of results from the Columns Available to Display window into the Columns on Display window by selecting the desired results and using the arrow icons to move them. To match the column data to the displayed graphs, use the Match to Charts option. The tabular results can also be exported to Excel by selecting the Export Data to Excel icon. The graphs in the Input tab are also default graphs. While the input charts cannot be manipulated, any results chart can be customized or added. To reorder or add charts, select the Reorder Charts icon. Use the icons to customize the results. SBT plots can also be generated by clicking the Plot SBT Zone icon. Use the drop-down menu to select the chart type. These charts can be exported by selecting Export Image. Settle3D also offers the option to incorporate soil profiles from CPT data to use in conjunction with its borehole functionality. To do this, right-click on the CPT point and select Edit CPT. Check the Incorporate Soil Profile checkbox. Click Next. A breakdown of the soil types is now shown. The method can be changed in the method menu, and the size of the depth ranges can be changed by modifying the delta size. We will keep the default values for this tutorial. Click Next. Click the Merge Consecutive Layers button to combine consecutive layers of the same soil type into one thickness. Click OK to save the soil profile. This CPT point can now be used in conjunction with boreholes to determine soil profiles. This concludes the CPT analysis tutorial. Click here for more details, or here for more tutorials.